Now, there is a problem with uh, mail merging, more especially when it was not done on your PC. Now, uh, the reason being that any file that passes through the internet always have security issues. Now, if I design a particular application on my PC, uh, I wouldn't, I will not have any problem with it. But as soon as it crosses through the internet, especially with Word files and others, begin to get some security alerts, and that is the reason why uh, the codes cannot actually work with the Microsoft Word file. Now, I want you to understand that this is not just an ordinary Microsoft Word file. It is a Microsoft Word template file. That is to say, I have already added some kind of features into it that makes my code to recognize the particular area to add the particular append the particular data. So now, immediately you double click on any of this file, automatically it's going to create a new file. But there's a problem that comes with this. More especially, uh, if I open this normal file, see, I won't have any problem there. Why? Because I created these are the ones within my PC. Now, uh, the ones, the ones that are actually uh, uh, that passes through the internet, like as from the freelance website, and that I sent to you across, you discover that if you double click on it, you will have an alert. Uh, something like you see opening protected view so you can see this alert here now this alert makes the makes the code not to be able to uh, uh, append to this place this place this place like that reason being that it is opened in read only mode and when it is read opened in read, read only mode you can't do anything so that is why the code gives this error that you see so let's see let's practicalize how it works so now I uh, just select the doctor here and uh, I've entered all the information I want to enter in this place. Let me pause that and just do some some practicals. Okay, so what I already have here, I can search for the doctor I want. Let's see Joseph. Uh, Joseph. Okay, this is Joseph. I click on Joseph on his profile. I click on this place to see his profile and modify whatever I want to modify. And we have address two here and the address two here uh we help you to put the part of the address that is very long on a separate line so i've written the codes that can control that close that then now you can actually sort them by city if you want to do that but as soon as you come here this is grayed out to make sure that you are only searching with one criteria at the time okay so now having done this now we want to append the data by then i click on this uh k2 we check here I will have an error reason being that it is opened in read mode, read only mode and it could not work as you can see this is the error that is attached to that particular uh, operation and uh, i actually wrote this code to actually uh handle that error so having done that uh to be able to get that fixed all i need to do is just to do it once and no more again reason being that your computer need to recognize that this area is a safe zone for this particular uh for microsoft word to open this particular file so all i need to do is to open it here as soon as i click here it's opening it in read only mode and i can just click on enable editing so by this the file is already attached to the security area of this application so now and that is how to do that but if you want it permanently done uh for this particular location here there is a way you can actually do that all i just need to do is to copy this particular location maybe from here downward i can copy it and come and add it to trusted location of the microsoft uh power microsoft word uh area microsoft word application i go to trust center go to trust center settings and just come to trusted location so this trusted location is just the problem why because these areas are the ones that are trusted any file that is coming from this particular area microsoft word does not give any alert on them and this is the it area of it where you have to protect your company from running 
malicious software so if i want to add it i just click on add new location i just paste in that particular location here i can now tell it every soft food that we did add them also that it can work so you just click on ok and click on ok here and that is how it works so for this reason i did not add it and i just wanted to show you the advanced area of what i really am talking about so it is because of that security issue that is why it doesn't work and uh, don't forget that i told you earlier that immediately a file crosses through the internet uh, i don't know it seems that it's just a kind of codes that attached to it that says that no this one is coming from the internet so that is why you discover that if i send you this particular file that is working here from microsoft word file i send it to you you discover that uh uh the, the particular uh computer will discover it to be a new file and gives a security alert the same thing also comes in again when you are actually a particular file you'll be opening for long and you then discover that as soon as you change the name the computer gives a security alert all you just need to do is just to enable the content for the particular application to 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 know it and microsoft office will add it to the trusted location for that particular file alone and that is what we see so everything has to do with the registry of the computer recognizing that this is this area is uh, secured so that is just what i want you to know about it so let's check the file again the file is already opened as i can as you can see and i can close that up okay uh hope i did something right hope something here is happening I think I made a mistake with another file. Okay, let's see. Let's see it again. Okay, uh, this is for this particular file. You can see everything is working fine now. The same thing goes for others. You do others like that, like one, two, three, four, five, all of them. So if everything is fixed, you will not have any problem with the code. So if I go back again and click on K2, and you will see what we have now. Uh, you see something's going on behind it you can see it's activated and that is what you see there so you see it everything is fixed now and you can see all is well with it so this is what I was just trying to explain to you as the owner of the database and uh, as you can see it is fixed so you will not have any problem with it I, it took me it actually took me time to figure out what the problem is or not until when I discover that any file I send to you goes through the internet and that is what is bringing the security issues because they were actually working on my system very well so that is how it is I believe the interface of the application looks better now compared to the previous version thank you very much for your understanding if you have more questions do ask it to ask me and if you want to add more features to this application don't hesitate to contact me thank you so much